So in this lecture we are going to continue where we left off in the previous lecture by adjusting the values and settings to create the final shader. Again here the final shader on the left, just to remind you what we are working for. So now I will start adjusting the values and settings of the nodes from right to left. The color ramp nodes I will leave for last since some of them require more attention. So I suggest you to just follow along and change the settings as well in your blend file. Now we can change the settings of our color ramp nodes and move some handles as well. Use the adjacent nodes to orient yourself when you are not sure which color ramp node I am working on. Notice that now something starts to take shape in our viewport render.
Now we are going to work on our most important color ramp node, the one where we will add our colors. With our right handle selected, we can add 6 new handles with a plus sign. Then we can set the handle position as follows. Actually, handle number 1 we can delete, since we added it too much, it seems. In the viewport, you can already see that we are getting some smooth fading transition at the border. Now I am going to start giving the handles colors. Please also assign colors to your handles, and please pay attention which handles I select. Handles 1, 2 and 3 I give a blue color from darker blue to lighter blue. For the fourth and fifth handle we can choose green and turquoise respectively for now. Later you can of course change these handles to the color you want. Then the most right handle I will give orange. After saving this file, I suggest to experiment with the colors a bit to see if you like some other color scheme more. By changing the color of this color to value of the color mix node with the hue settings, we change the colors of the small flakes that float around the main comment sphere. So I kind of consider our comet sphere finished, but in the next video I am going to show you how to completely change our shader with a few settings, which will result in some pretty cool effects. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.